Hey folks, you may think this is crazy because it's still October. Uh, Christmas is, from my perspective, just around the corner. Many of you are going to be worried about relationships uh, and how you're going to handle Christmas, particularly if you're separated parents. I hope that you are planning for that now so that it doesn't wind up being an argument uh, in the days leading up to Christmas. The last thing we want for any child is for that Christmas memory to be spoiled by conflict erupting on Christmas Day. I do work with adult children who had those kind of um, poor memories where now that Christmas rolls around they just seek to avoid it. These are the ones who tell me that they're going to go south for Christmas and actually avoid both parents. So uh, we don't want that to happen. We want you to have a lifelong relationship with your children. You do that by putting structures in place now to mitigate conflict. What are those structures? A plan for Christmas. So whatever it is, uh, sort that out. If you can't sort it out between yourselves, uh, time is running short. Uh, we professionals in the business, we're busy right now. So make that appointment, um, meet with the mediator, figure out what you're going to do. And I got to tell you, from a child's perspective, uh, quite frankly, they don't need to be with both persons on Christmas Day, as odd as that may sound. From the child's perspective, uh, I've seen parents have, you know, Christmas Day, the next parent has, has uh, December 26th. The child's experience of that is just, that's how we do Christmas. And it's successful because it is absent conflict. That's the real, uh, the real trick to making Christmas successful. It's not the time of the exchange. It's not even the day of the exchange. It's that it's actually peaceful. Uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, start addressing that. Put things in order. Um, we want your kids to have wonderful memories uh, come this Christmas.